Hello my dear friends, welcome to Photon Academy. My name is Harshwats and today we will be talking about duplicating columns and extracting information from those columns in Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is an analytical software that helps you in understanding your data set through various visualization in different data models. Now let us go further and talk about the points to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will basically talk about two main points that how do we duplicate column and in the second point we will talk about how do we extract information from columns in our data sets. Now let's go to the Power BI desktop and see how does this feature works and where do we find it. Now we are in Power BI desktop in a Power Query editor interface. If you want to learn more about this interface, you can go to my previous videos and see how does this interface work. Now let's get back to the question of this video about duplicating columns and extracting information. So before going to this, we will tell you about why do we do it? Because if you are duplicating columns, it is certainly there is aim for you to do it. Otherwise, it's just of no use. Like if I duplicate an age index number, it's of no use because it's already there. If I want to construct a new column out of the previous column, then only I will duplicate the column. Like I will show you in this query combined population, we have a country ID, location, region name, which I have constructed through various processes. If you want to look into the processes that how I have merged the location query with a region name, then you can go to my previous videos and see how does I do it using a country ID as a join kind from this query country region in which I've used the same country ID on the basis of a region name I have joined them. So like this I want to create a dim age group that means dimension age group. So I have a this column that is age group. So on the basis of this age group I want to construct a new column which will use the maximum like this is a range in which you can see 0 to 4 is a range while 0 is minimum and 4 is maximum. So on the basis of that construct an analogy in which I will say if the person is smaller than or equal to 4 year of age it will be called baby then 9 to 5 then 14 to 10 then 15 to 19 so I will construct a conditional formatting for that for that I want to construct a new column on which I will say a maximum which can be used out of all these things so how do I do that first of all I have to look into my data then I get to know that there are certain things I want to change in my data like in this you can see it's 0 to 4 that is 9 to 5 the while it should be opposite it should be 5 to 9 it should be 10 to 14 and again go through our data you can see otherwise all are correct we just have to replace these two rows now just click on this go in a home ribbon after that click on replace values then when you select that replace value you will see the 9 5 is already there so we will do it's 5 9 after that click on ok so it will change the value it will take a few seconds for doing that so it has changed now another row we have to do it 14 10 which should be 10 14 so click on it after that in a home ribbon in a transform section go into the replace values and again click on it after then put 4 10 to 14 and after that click on ok so it will take a few seconds while applying the changes so now you can see the age group has been now determined in our data set so now we want the maximum age group in a different column so before that we have to create a duplicate column of the same column so on the basis of that we will create and extract information from the same column that which is the largest group and on the basis of that we will create a conditional formatting so first of all we have to duplicate it how do we duplicate it click on the column go on the add column you will see an option you will see an option in general section that is called a duplicate column where you can see which says that create a new column that duplicate the values in the currently selected column so i will click on it you will see which will take a few seconds that new column will be generated of the age group so you can see the age group has been generated now so first of all what we want to do with this data first of all you have to go through the data what do we want to 
now remove first of all we want to remove these plus signs because these plus sign of no use if we extract information from it like i have said you in the query we want a maximum like this is a uh, this is a range in which zero is minimum and four is maximum i want to create a conditional formatting that lower than a four or equal than four should be called a baby so for that construction i need a maximum age group index so for that i have to extract an information from this column so before extracting we have to make this data a very good data so how do i do that so first of all the positive sign should be removed so how do I do that for that you have to go into the home ribbon into the replace values into the replace values you will write plus and in in and in the place of plus there should be nothing so replace it with nothing after that click on ok now you will see the plus sign will be removed from this column so you can see in front of 80 there is no plus sign in front of 100 there is no plus sign now so now what we have to do now we have to extract information i want to extract information from this column how do i do that for the maximum in the particular range now if you think i will extract information on the basis of the last two then it will be much better because if the last all two will be included only in the first and second option i have to think of certain things to remove the minus sign otherwise every other row will be extracted very appropriately and on the 22 also i have to think about it so first of all let's extract information how do i do that for that thing you have to go into the add column ribbon there you will see an extract when you click on extract you will see a dialog box extract character from text values when you click on it there is options that on the basis of length you can extract on the basis of first character you can extract on the basis of last character you can extract on the basis of range you can extract you can extract text before delimiter text after delimiter text between delimiter so these are the more than enough options that you can extract information so we will use a last character because last character we want to extract or the which count now we have to answer like i have told you i want to extract the last two characters to so click on the two after that click on ok so it will take a few seconds to apply after that you will see the last two characters are only left now you can see the last characters are only left so this is how we do it so the, now this is our column you want to delete this because now you can see the new column has been generated we do not need this column so first of all we will delete this column after that we will make the last character column a good data column so before that we will delete this column for that we have to go into the home ribbon and after that remove column so the column has been removed now we are left with the column that we have in last character so before that we should change the name of the column that is last character we can change into age group max then enter so how do i do that i have double clicked on the column name like this after that i have changed the name so now we have to make the column data into a good data now you see the minus in front of 4 minus in front of 9 and 0 0 in front of 100 so i have to make an amendment on all these rows so how do i do that first of all it's very easy you just have to go into the replace values in a home ribbon in transform section click on it after that fill the values to find in minus because we want to replace the minus with nothing after that click on ok you will see the minus will be gone from 4 and 9 the only left thing is now 4 and 9 that is much better or that can be called as a good data now we want to replace 00 00, zero, zero with 100 because 100 is a three digit while the one has been removed due to it because we only extract information from the last two characters so i will replace it again in the home ribbon in the transform section i will replace it with 100 then click on ok so it will take another few seconds now while doing the process you will see the 100 is now available in your data and uh, now your age group max is becoming a much better data now you have a three column in your dimension age group that is age index number age group and maximum age group which is of when you see this range this is of maximum age group like 0 to 4 it's 4 
it's 5 to 9 it's 9 50 to 54 it's 54 this so you could see i will use this column to make a conditional formatting on the basis of allocate this age group like 0 to 4 will be allocated like uh, less than 4 or equal to 4 will be allocated to baby 5 to 9 is adolescent 4 10 to 14 is under puberty so this you we can do now so so that's why i have duplicated the column and then after duplication i have make an amendment through extract information and now this now this column will be used while doing a conditional formatting which i will do in my next video so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have a amazing and good day